in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can make killer ad creatives using ChatGPT like this, this, and this. So just in case you've been living under a rock, OpenAI recently released their newest model, ChatGPT 4.0. And because the quality of these images is so good, you literally no longer have to pay expensive agencies, photographers, and UGC creators, and you'll get even better results. Let me show you how. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is log into ChatGPT. And now even the free versions have GPT 4.0. So you're gonna see this button that says create image. And this is what we're gonna be using to create our images. To show you how to create these images and these ads, I wanna use our client Holos as an example. So Holos, as you can see here, is a overnight muesli brand. And what I'm gonna do just to show you how powerful this is, is I'm literally gonna go ahead and take a picture of this Holos package with my iPhone right now on my desk. And we're gonna turn it into a really good looking product page image that can live on Holos' store. All right, so I just took the picture of the Holos package with my iPhone. And now I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to give me a prompt to create create a high resolution product image for Shopify based on the input image taken from my iPhone attached. Now it's gonna give me a prompt that is gonna allow the GPT to create a really high resolution perfect image for this use case in the language that it needs to understand. So we can see here, we just got our prompt from ChatGPT and it's extremely detailed, which is exactly what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the image right now. All right, so this is the image that I just took with my phone. Let's see if professional photographers are in trouble. You're gonna notice that it takes like 30 seconds to a minute to generate your image. That's completely normal. So the image is being generated. One thing I'm gonna note while this is loading is one of the big advancements with ChatGPT 4.0 is that it can use text really well in images. But when there are a lot of details like this, it might not get it 100% right. So let's see what the output is. We can see the output here and this is looking really, really good. And there you have it. We have a really good looking product shot that could definitely live on their website with some edits. This is where the human touch is still needed a little bit. In some cases, you can see the Holos logo isn't really utilized on the package. So that would need to be improved. There's some other light edits that are required, but basically, when you look at the cost of a multi-thousand dollar photo shoot to get product images, and then you look at this process where you're getting 95% there and then bringing it into Figma to do the cleanup on the remaining 5%, it's a no-brainer that this is the way to go. So now that we have a good looking product shot that can go on the website with some light edits, let's go ahead and create our first ad. Now, one of the things that's really cool about generating ads with ChatGPT is you can upload reference images of ads that you like and then ask it to create an ad for your brand using that reference format. Just as an example, I'm on Magic Brief's website right here, looking at some static ad examples to find one that I like and that can work for Holos, let's say. This one from Aloha looks pretty good. We'd be able to feature the key health callouts for Holos in an ad like this. You can see some other statics over here that can apply to your brand potentially. I really like this Aloha one. So let's go ahead and literally just save this image. And then I'm going to bring it into ChatGPT and we're gonna do the same thing now. So I'm gonna start a new chat. So I'm gonna say, Give me a prompt to create an Instagram ad for the brand Holos using the attached ad as a reference for the format only. Follow the exact style of the reference. I'm gonna attach the Aloha ad that I just saved here. And now let's get our prompt for actually creating the image. The way that other people are going to do this, what they'll tell you is you can just go in, attach the image of this Aloha ad, and then basically just say generate an ad for Holos like this. The problem is the output is just not going to be as good as if you're using the exact language here. So you can see how detailed this prompt is and you can see that they're giving us the copy here. So they're telling us where to use the Holos logo. They're saying what the protein is gonna be and they have this information based on searching the website. So you might have to upload this information for your own brand if you're not as visible. We can see 15 grams of protein, one gram or less of sugar, eight grams of fiber. And if this copy needed to be updated, let's say we would update it. But for the sake of this example, this all looks good. So what we're gonna do now is click create image image and say generate ad. And then let's say we want to use a different image in the ad than the one we just created. For example, you can say generate ad using this Holos image and paste. All right, so this is the output. And if you compare it to the original, it's looking pretty good. And here I can actually give you an example of just how to make light edits using ChatGPT. Let's say like they did here, they use the Shaw's logo. If I want to use the Whole Foods logo instead of actually just writing Whole Foods, look at how easy it is to do that. So I can say replace Whole Foods text with 
Whole Foods logo. And I'm also gonna say, remove the Holos word at the bottom below the jar. It's basically like you have a junior graphic designer that is working at your command. As you can see here, it made the exact edits that we asked for. And this looks like a great ad that might need some light edits, but is 95% of the way there in order to be used. All right, so let's say you have an idea for an ad that you wanna create. What's really cool here too, is you actually don't need a reference. You can create it from scratch. So we can actually use ChatGPT to get the idea. So I can just say, give me an idea for a really simple visual ad for the brand Holos that communicates their unique selling points to their customer demo text overlaid. Very simple visual. So we're getting the ad concept here. So the breakfast that's got your back and the visual is going to be a top down shot of a Holos jar next to a packed gym bag, a laptop on a clean kitchen counter, natural morning light coming from the side, overlaid text, which is centered and clean font is going to say fuel for busy mornings, organic, complete, ready when you are. And this actually makes perfect sense because one of Holos' main value props is that they are great for busy people. You prepare it the night before, it's ready in the morning, and this ad will clearly show that. So I actually really love this idea for the ad. So so let's go ahead and just say create image. The image was just created and this looks so good. So like the branding might have to be updated, which might take 30 seconds on the jar here in Figma. But other than that, like you have the gym bag, you have the laptop and you have Holos fuel for busy mornings. And like this is clearly communicating their value props. And this is a really good Ad. All right, now the next thing we can do here that's really cool is create UGC ads. So if you're a smaller brand and you don't have a ton of UGC, having pictures of people using your product, enjoying your product, goes a really long way to build trust and help sell your product. Let me show you exactly how ChatGPT can help you here. Now, one of the important things to know is there are a lot of laws that come into play when using UGC. You can't really have fake people that don't exist endorsing your product. So we're gonna have our prompt just reflect that we wanna be following all laws. So I'm gonna say, give Give me a prompt for an image ad to use for the brand Holos, a UGC ad that follows all applicable laws. Don't include any faces. I'm just gonna say no caption for this ad. We just want the image, just the image. All right, so we're getting our prompt here for a UGC style Holos ad image, no faces, legally compliant, exactly what we want. And we're gonna be creating a high quality lifestyle image that looks like authentic user generated content for the brand Holos. Setting should be bright, natural lit kitchen or cozy morning space. Feature a hand holding a spoon mid scoop over an open Holos jar. If there's any updates you wanted to make to this in terms of what you wanted the visual to look like, you're more than welcome to do that. This looks great. I'm going to say create image. I'm going to paste in the image of the jar that I want the UGC for, the exact flavor that we have here. And let's see what happens. So we got our image here and this honestly looks perfect. I don't know that any changes would need to be made to this in order to hit publish on this ad. Like this is a 10 on 10 UGC image in my opinion. All right, so I went through how to create ads and obviously creating a high volume of ad creative is super important, which is why I want to focus on this in today's video. But one thing that I have not seen anyone talk about or do properly is how to create good looking emails using ChatGPT 4.0. It's really hard to get this prompt down. I've spent around four weeks trying to nail this prompt. I've experimented with so many different angles, different prompts, and I finally got something that works really, really well for email marketing. So let me show you what that looks like. So I create a custom GPT, which is called Dispatch Email Hero Block Image Generator. And this is going to generate really good looking hero blocks for your emails. The way it works is you need to input a headline, a sub headline, and a CTA with an image that you want to use for your hero image. And it's going to generate a perfect email hero nine times out of 10. So I just mocked this up for Holos. The headline says, fuel your day with organic superfoods. The sub headline says, start your morning right with Holos. The gut-friendly plant-based breakfast that keeps you full and focused. And then the CTA is shop holos. And then for the image, if we want a good lifestyle image for a good email hero, let's go ahead and choose something like this, a clear, good looking image and watch what happens here. Now, while that's generating, if you want to get this custom GPT, the link is right in the description below. So click that link and this custom GPT to get hero blocks for your emails is going to be all yours. And there you have it. Look at how 
how good this hero looks. So of course, compared to what we actually do at our agency for Holos and all of our clients in Figma is going to be way, way better and way elevated. Still, ChatGPT 4.0 is just not at the level of competing with that yet. But for smaller brands that are on really tight budgets and just want to have something better than a classic Klaviyo template, this is going to go a really long way in helping your emails look better. So this video was all about making ad creatives, but what I typically focus on on this channel is the email marketing side of things. Just because email marketing is so important for any e-com brand who really wants to have repeat customers and use one of the most cost-effective marketing channels to scale profitably. So click here if you haven't updated your email marketing strategy in a while, or if you just haven't been paying as much attention to it as you probably should have been, so that you can learn the new methods and strategies that are working across 20 of the top e-commerce brands that we work with, so that you can take these things and apply them directly to your own business. So if you're interested in generating over 40% of your revenue from your email list every month for your e-commerce brand, I'll see you over there.